Well, it's uh, just gone 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm outside in the uh, little piazza and it's already busy, although it's not heaving like last night. But Lots of noise, people getting about their day, lovely sunshine. Kids going to school. <laughs> Time for me to organize my pipe. Call it golden sliced. And the sixty six this morning. Last. We haven't got a tobacco tray, so it's all going in a bit rough and ready. Pipe is lit. And uh, Holy Gordon Slice is tasting good this morning. You can see over there. There's a policeman standing there, Carabinieri. There's a constant presence here in the piazza. Uh, we were here last night, there was a, a police truck here all day, till about 11 at night. I guess being the Jewish quarter, especially on a Sunday, yesterday, it was very heavily uh, occupied with uh, people just eating in the restaurants and just having a good time. So I guess they have increased security. Oh, there's a nice shadow and the phone over there. Mm.
I was talking to my wife about how interesting it is. It's an obvious thing, but it's interesting. How countries' borders. We have a little visitor. country's borders just literally five meters to this side and five meters to that side hosts completely different cultures languages architecture so when you travel to a different country it kind of gets highlighted It's obviously a very, very old city, Rome, no question about that. And we just look at this, I, have a, I literally just noticed this now as I'm looking up. Look at that facade. I mean, that looks like it goes back to Roman times. Wouldn't surprise me. Look at that carving there, that lion's head with the, uh, looks like a uh, bottle, maybe? Phenomenal. And you know, when you walk around Rome, stuff like that is almost mundane. <clears throat> it's just everywhere. It's really interesting to see how different countries have different styles of building and, and it's quite clear that it's a, a theme which runs through the architecture in that country. A lot of stonework here, a lot of stonework, masonry. I think, although I'm only here, I've only been here a day, but I do get the impression that perhaps um, <clears throat> when I compare it to England, that um, the level of public, the public purse perhaps struggles. When you look at the infrastructure, so you look at the roads, the paving, the refuse, You get the impression that it's not of the highest priority. I'm not saying it should be. I'm just saying, I'm just observing, really. Some things in England, for instance, are a different priority. Having said that, a lot of, most of the other countries, trance, um, the United Kingdom when it comes to education and you'd think that that would be the highest priority with the NHS, the healthcare I think healthcare is an issue with most countries in the world really it's a bottomless pit but you'd think education and I think in countries like this although I know nothing about this country I'm just making a, a, an uneducated guess but I'd imagine it Education is better than in the United Kingdom, here and in a lot of countries in Europe. When I say England, I mean the United Kingdom.
66 cauldron Cumberland stem One of my best pipes so far And uh, all, in, all it golden slice tasting really good for a change Italian has got a certain tone about it, a sing-song in the way it's spoken, that I find very attractive. <clears throat> it's got romantic nuances in the highs and lows of the sing-song of Italian language. The apartment we're staying in is nice, although um, I was up by four o'clock this morning. I went to bed probably about half twelve, something like that, twelve, half twelve. I was up by four watching Phil Rivara on a live with Andrew Serigliano and Glenn. I think uh, maybe Everett as well. And uh, slept on and off a few minutes here and there until about seven. And it's now what, it's half eight. couple of small issues with the place. The front door lock doesn't work for a start, which is a problem. We have to put furniture against the front door. And uh, for some reason, my phone won't dial out. So I've got to have to speak to my supplier in a minute, you know, give them a call. Hopefully I'll get through to them. So we can't actually get hold of the guy who owns the property. That and the fact that the toilet is leaking as well. So. But otherwise, it's a nice flat. Well, I think I'm going to get on with my morning, make my phone calls. I wish you well for now. And I will catch you on the next one.